everybody. My next guest is one of the most popular crime novelists around. He's the author of My Dark Places, American Tabloid, and L.A. Confidential. His latest is entitled Destination Morgue. Please welcome James Elroy. Now, as you know, uh, where's the legs? What's that? The legs. Where the is legs? she? Oh, 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 Allison Jenny. She had yeah. to go. She yeah. had to leave. She had an appointment. Yeah. The legs that you get oh, away with. Oh, bird thou never worked. What's that? Oh, bird thou never worked. Yeah. 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 You look good. <laughs> <laughs> you look good too. It's going to be pretty crazy. Yeah. But I enjoy having you on. First yeah. of all, as you know, I, I'm a big fan of yes. your work. Yes. I think I've read uh, most everything that you've uh, that you've written. Yes. And uh, and I find you fascinating to talk to. There, I said it. You said um, it. And you regret it. No, I don't regret it. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Uh, we're going to get to the book Destination Morgue in just a second. But one of the things that I love about your writing is that you are fascinated. Uh, like me, I love uh, the American history from yes. the 40s, 50s, yes. 60s. Yes. You love that era in American history, yes. and you really know the lingo. I know the lingo. And often when I'm reading one of your novels, I don't know what you're talking about, and I have to go and look up some of the terms, and there's some... I'm listening. Okay, terms here. Big Q. You talk about someone going to the big... What's the big Q? San Quentin. San Quentin was called the big yeah, Q. Yeah, the home of the green rum, where they fry the peepers, the prowlers, the pederasts, the pedants, the panty sniffers, punks, and the pimps. What? <laughs> Okay, that didn't help at all. You, the, the, the San Quentin thing helped me, yeah. but then when you went under that other run, you lost me. Keep the going, home, okay, keep uh, Bonnaroo. What's Bonnaroo? Bonnaroo, man, is the jail clothes that you wear in San Quentin, you know? Essay? I am not Chong and you are not Cheech. Man. Do you understand? Keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah. That's what Mrs. Claus brings this cherry rig. All right. Uh, um, it's a great record. Uh, the Bonnaroo, that's, so that's okay. Yeah. That's the stuff, the clothes you wear. Uh, what's a brass hat? A is brass hat is a big, pink-faced, red-haired, blue-eyed Irish cop like you that takes the <laughs> Yeah, that's poor... a really terrifying cop until yeah, you threw yeah, me yeah, in the well, equation. You know, six, All right, now move it on yeah. there, will you? 6'4", 220. <laughs> right, right. You know, takes some, you know, some into the interrogation room, beats the out of them with a phone book. Okay, watch the language here. Yeah. We're not on Cinemax I know. yet. Okay. okay. Uh, but brass hat. Because uh, I, right. I thought I was reading you know, those. I thought it was a the, real brass hat. I thought bill, it was a magical story. The bill with the scrambled eggs on it. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, that's the badge. Yeah. The no. scrambled eggs no. is the badge. No. That's what? the brass hat. Oh, the brass accoutrements on the bill. Why'd you say scrambled eggs? Because it's also called scrambled eggs. Okay, I got to yeah. write that in now. Okay. I'm really confused. Keep going. What's a conch? That's a shell in the a, deep no, sea. No, no. A conch is. Scongili from the Italian, the salad that you get with the cracked pepper and the oil and vinegar, it's also that thing that comes down here that the black pimps wear in the hairnet. <laughs> haven't you seen these guys? No, 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 no. I ever, haven't. It's been a while since I hung out with the pimps. Haven't you ever been north of 100 Street? <laughs> yeah, okay, so a conch is then, what is it? What's the, you said it's that thing. I thought thing. you were up there scoring dope all the time. No, no, I sell, I don't buy. Now, <laughs> what do you, what do you, what's well, a better business model? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. You, so wait, that's hair. Shape, yeah, it comes down like So this. is this my conch right here? Is that what no, you're saying? No, it's too What's, thin. It's too thin. This is too thin. Look black. at this luxuriant and thick. Feel that. That's just, that's a, that's a mean How conch I got here. Hair? Look at this. I'm going to get a brass hat here and he's going to throw a bonnaroo on you. Yeah. You'll be in the big queue yeah. before you know it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What's a dink? A dink is a rinky dink, a small criminal, a guy who perpetrates a chump change racket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So a small Low rent B and E. Low rent B and E. B, yeah. B and E is breaking and entering. entering. There you go. All right. It's also a righteous four or five nine for burglary. B and B, B and B is a bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast. B and E. That's a four or five nine Romantic burglary. stay in Vermont. B and B. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a few too. Go. R and R's next? rest and relaxation. What's, um, next? what's a Mickey Finn? Mickey Finn is chloral hydrate. It is Sonata. It is Ambien. It is all the pills that guys like you take to escape the drudgery of their lives and sleep at night. Yeah. He's not wrong. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Mickey Finn, and now Mickey Finn is also when you give someone a Mickey Finn. You put them out. You Shanghai them. You put them on a slow boat to China. Right. That's yeah. knocking them out with it. Yeah. You're not, you see, whenever I ask you to explain something, you take me into another crazy right. world right. of words that no listen, one understands. It's like, we, listen, it's like we both go to a nightclub. No woman wants us. It's like Rohypnol. You slip them a Rohypnol. Uh, uh, uh. You know what? I'm just picturing you. 
Do you have kids? I'm picturing no, like. I got no kids. Yeah, I'm I got picturing no your child coming to you yeah. and asking you a, just a basic question. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm picturing I right got, now. I got no kids, but I got a good friend on LAPD. Yeah. Named Ro Hypnol Rick Jackson. Right. Yeah, more will be revealed. Right. What's next? I'm just I'm just picturing your kid coming to you like, Daddy, what's a windmill? It's a Mojo Slazo on the hop train. <laughs> It's the Kumbaya with the Big Daddy O. Yeah. It's a love yeah. love without the jug jug, dude. Yeah. It's too sexy. You know, that's yeah. what I'm picturing. Yeah. That yeah. kid's running out of the room yeah. scared. Okay. Yeah. All right. You worked. Uh, your fans know this stuff cold, but you worked. Uh, uh, your, your, your climb to great success was not an easy one. No. You worked for a while when you were kind of down and out as a golf caddy. Yeah. And uh, sometimes you caddied for celebrities once for the great Kojak, Telly Savalas. Here's what happened. 18 hole single. Yeah. It's out there, it's 117 degrees. He's in all black. Spandex, band lawn, alligator black shoes. We walk 14 holes, he doesn't say a word. We're in the middle of the 14th fairway. There's a dead gopher, <laughs> belly up like that. Right. Pokes him with his driver, says, who loves you, baby? Did, I love did that. Did not say another that word to me. <laughs> no. Who loves you, baby, yeah. to a dead gopher. C-note, <laughs> just like that. Cino. Oh, yeah. Cino. You got a yeah, hundred dollar bill. Yeah, hundred dollar bill. Okay, I'm trying a to century. keep up. Yeah. Okay, that's also called the century. Century. We we call it the old green jub jub. All right. Uh, <laughs> you have a friend. You have a lot of friends in the L.A. Police Department. Numerous you have, friends. You have yeah. one friend. I love this. You have one. Rhino Rick Jackson. Rohypnol Rick. Yes, we talked yeah. about Rohypnol Rick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you have one friend who uh, actually, when he goes to a crime scene, one of the things he does as a favor to you is to check out the crime scene to see if the victim has any of your books and right. is a fan. Yes, and yes. then And then... Yes. This is an arbiter of guilt or innocence. He was at Robert Blake's house during a search warrant after the wife turned up dead. There were none of my books. You know what I say? What? Guilty. Really? So if someone's not a fan, you think that that makes them guilty? Yes. Wow, yeah. that's fascinating. Do you think the legal justice system will adopt this code? I'm very good friends with Steve Cooley, the LADA. We've discussed that he declines to prosecute mm -hmm. on this basis. Right. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. That's great to know that uh, Los Angeles is overcoming its weirdo reputation. I have many friends. For judicial kookiness. I have many friends in LA law enforcement. They may not be so friendly after tonight. Really? Oh, yeah. well, to you or to me? To both of us. I fear no man. I fear no man either. Uh, I fear my dog. Really? Yeah, Margaret. Your dog, Margaret? Yeah, my dog, Margaret. Yeah. Sounds like a real killer. She's a dyke. What? She's a dyke. She's a dyke dog. We got her a year ago. You know, I'm getting the rap signal. We're out of time, but I can't get out on this. Yeah, yeah. We got her. We got to hear more about yeah. this. Tell me more about Margaret, the dyke dog. We got her a year ago. You got her a year ago? We got her a year ago. Yeah? She was a retired four-year-old show dog. She's right. a wedge-headed bull terrier. Right. I left my pictures of her back at the hotel. Right. Yeah. She came into the place, you know, in a little goodie bag from right. the breeder. Yeah. With a bunch of Katie Lang CDs. Oh, my You know, God. some Ellen DeGeneres tapes, the whole thing. Right, right. And she follows women around and tries to interdict me okay. in their presence. Yeah, She cuts great. me off. She growls at me, she snarls at me, she's tried to bite me several times. It's a bad time. Does your dog know about the dog run on the Upper West Side that Allison Janney did? <laughs> no. Apparently there's some killer action going on there. I like it. Uh, Destination Morgue is in uh, stores now. Uh, Mr. Elroy, always a pleasure. Thank you for always being here. James Elroy, we'll be right back with the Black Keys.